genomes, mutation, and the applications of the genetics. Okay, last time we already talked about, we call you again about the crossings of the, the characters. For example, you have large T here, represent tall genes, cross with the small T like this to represent short genes of the pea plant, and you can produce gamete, large T and large T, and cross with the small T and the small T like this. This is part of a gamete. And the upper one here is a parent generation. Okay, and after that, the offspring. The result here come from the crossing here. You can get large T, small T, and large T, small T, and large T, small T, and large T, and small T. And they, are, they represent the tall characters. Because the tall characters, it is the uh, dominant trait. Okay, like this. This is normal condition. But in some condition here, all alleles for the specific trait. Here, it is not completely dominant over the other genes, the other alleles. For example, tall and short here, the tall can mass on the short, short gene completely. But sometimes here, they cannot mass on completely. The result here, that uh, it represents the third phenotype okay, in the F1 generation. Okay, and the x rays okay, the physical trait, the trait, by the combination of dominant trait and the recessive phenotype. This case we call incomplete dominant. Okay, and this case we use for the snapdragon flowers. Okay, in high we use the term dog lin mangon. Okay, the snapdragon. Okay, for example, we have two characters. The first one is a red characters, and the the next one we call white characters, and the third one it is the, uh, pink characters, and we use the code of a gene as a C R, C for the colors of the flower and R for the red. So for the red one here, it, it is a pure breed. So they are C R and C R gene. And the white one here represents C with the small uh, uh with the W. In this case, they use W to represent white, and C W. It's quite different to our systems, okay? C W and C Ws. But when they cross the white, okay, from P generation, you cross between C R C R with the C W and C W. The gamete represent for this case you separate the gene you get C R, and C R. Cross with the CW and the CW this way, and you link them together CR and CW. Okay, and the same way here CR, CW, and this, this one CR, CW, and this one CR, CW. And it's supposed to represent R represent red and it's mass on W. It's supposed to represent red and red and red. And red, but this case it is not incomplete. It is not complete dominant. It is the incomplete dominant. So the red cannot completely completely mass on the, the W or the white. So it represent the third characters. It represent pink, like this. So this case we call incomplete dominant. It is a special case of the monohybrid cross. Okay, so that. Ratio here, you get all pink. But what happens if you do the second cross? Okay, if you cross between C R in the F one, this is the F one, right? You breed in uh, breed together between the offspring inside the F one. So you get C R C W cross with the C R C W this way. So the you uh, you can get the gamete of the F one as a C R C W. Cross with C R and C W and link them together you can get this result of a table. So you get one uh, one part here to represent red characters and the pink characters and another pink characters and the white characters, white flower. So the ratio of red per pink per white 
it will equal to one per two per one. Okay, it is not three per one. Uh, it is not three per one. Okay. The dihybrid cross. This case here, they study previously. You study just only one characters. For example, colors of the flower. But this case here, they study two characters at the same time. Okay. Uh, the living thing possess many genetic characters, right? So when they come together, two characters come together, and they want to know what is the interaction, you can use two characters to compare. Crossing by using two characters. So we should focus a few number, a few numbers of the tree. Okay, to study the interaction between the gene, which is called gene interaction. So this way, we will use the dihybrid cross to study the gene interaction between two genes. Okay, for examples, you may pick up two characters, but in this case, I will pick up the seed shape and the seed colors. For the smooth characters, we use the large. Uh, the capital I S or large S or the winkle we use a small S and the yellow we use a large Y and the small Y like this for the characters the smooth here will be dominant and the wrinkle and green will be recessive character okay and after that here we start with the parent gene the parent gene here will be pure red yellow and round shape Okay, and the second parent here, you will see the small y, small y, and small r, small r represent the pure breed of uh, green and uh, wrinkle characters. So when they produce gamete here, you need to matching the uh, large, uh, large y to the large r, and large y to the large r, large y to the large r, large y to the large r. So you get large y, large r. Large y, large r, large y, large r, and large y and large r. So they are repeat of each other. So you can cut them out because it is a ratio. The same way to the small y. Get large uh, small y, uh, small r, small y, small r, small y, small r, small y, and small r. And you can cut them out. You have just only one uh small y and small small r because it's ratio to reduce the numbers of calculation so they when you combine them together you can get the hybrid as a first generation or f1 here as a large y a uh, small y large i small r so they represent the round and the low characters okay and after that here they cross large y small y large r small r and with the large y small y with large r small r like this in the f1 so you can get four different type of the gamete it is a large y to large r small y to small to large r and large y to small r and the small y small r like this and the same way to the second parent, you get large R, uh, like this, large Y, large R, large Y, small R, small Y, large R, small Y, small R. And now that you put this information together and make it into the table, put into the table here, sorry. And this one, put into the another one this way and combine them together from the large uh, large y large y you get large y large y here large r and large i get large r and large r here and it represents brown and yellow brown and yellows and you do this to the 16 combination at the end you will get 9 from 16 to be yellow and brown and 3 plus 16 for the green and brown this one and this one and this one and the yellow and green coals okay three from 16 this one this one and this one and the one per 16 for the green and green coal this one so the ratio here will be nine per three per three and per one as a ratio so you will you will see that the interaction between uh yellow the the shape of the seed and the colors of the seed here will be uh free 
it is independent together so they can mix to a any any of the characters they, they don't have any linkage okay they are free like this so they don't have the linking in the higher step of learning you will see the linkings of a gene sometimes a gene is not free to each other they link with another one next case we call link gene but we will not talk about this topic uh in our talk here in our levels okay so the next one here we will talk about the pattern of gene inheritance we have two pattern the first pattern we call autosomal inheritance it is they divided by the chromosomes that transmit by the Mendel's law previous step we we already talked okay for example the yellow you have that the one that have yellow like this and no yellow like this the albinisms okay it's a condition that uh, they do not have the skin pigment okay this or pu pure in Thai or any all seven traits of the uh piece okay they are all autosomals inheritance the previous one and the next one okay this is the exam host the albinisms this person and these animals the green uh, the p file here contain no pigment on the skin so it's very dangerous to the to the skin the uv rays very sensitive to the uv rays because they don't have a skin pigment okay this case the male and the female here show the same pattern the one that have the homo psychos dominant we show the normal characters and the heterozygous Gene, they represent the normal character, but the one that have the homozygous recessive. This case, they will represent the disease genes. Okay, this pigment. And the second case, it is the condition that depend on the sex, or we call sex chromosome or sex link inheritance. Okay, so it means that between the male and the female here, they represent the different pattern of the gene. Okay, it, this gene has transmitted to the sex chromosome, that is the egg chromosome. Okay, and Y chromosome. But here in our level here, we will talk just only for the egg link chromosome. We will not talk about the Y chromosome or Y link because the size of the Y chromosome is very small and contain less gene. Okay, small chromosome X is bigger, and we have a various numbers of the diseases linked to the X X links genes. It is color blindness, glucosic phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency or GCPD in short, and muscular dystrophy. Okay, and hemophilia. Okay, let's see the first one. Okay, the color blindness means the condition that they cannot. Separate the red and green colors. Okay, and they use the uh pattern of the number here in the in the color for for you to read and separate. The doctor will know that, um, uh, what what is the number that you can read and it affects to the color blindness or not. Okay, but basically with um, uh, uh, they cannot separate between red and green. Okay, uh, the first one, the male here represent the gene X, class C, and Y. This annotation X, class C, and Y here represent by it is on the chromosome X. Okay, and the C here represent color blindness. Okay, the color blindness, and the male here contains just only one X, but if if they have the normal normal color blindness gene. They have normal eyes, but if they went wrong here, I will un underline the, the letter C. It means that they are disease at form. It is recessive. If they contain X small C and Y here, they become the male become disease at form. But the females, they contain two X chromosomes. So they have two conditions. The first one here is a homozygous. Okay. And the second one is a heterozygous. 
okay. Uh, the homozygous they cannot send the gene, but the heterozygous here they can send the x small c here to the, to the to to the, to the children and the the, the children here can get affect. So they will use the term carrier or paha. Okay, in high we call paha, because they can send that gene to their young. Okay, we call paha, and the diseases form of the female here need to be homozygous, recessive. To become the diseased form. Okay. Okay, this is picture uh, that the normal people see. But the one that have the problems about the color blindness, they cannot separate the red colors of the, the carrot. Okay. They cannot separate, so it's the same colors. Okay, so but they, they, they can recognize by using the shape of the, the vegetable okay, to separate, but not by the colors. The sex, sex link, I inherit the second one, it is GCPD or glucosic phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency. This case here shows the represent gene pattern to the um, color blindness. But the, the problem here, they cannot eat the broad bean because the broad bean here contains some kind of a drug. This one. For the normal people to GCPD, they cannot break. Blood, uh, red blood cells or the RBC but in some case if they have GCPD the disease that and you eat the broad bean the, the drug here they can destroy red blood cells and you become dead okay there's problems Okay, muscular dystrophy. This one causes the weakness of the muscle development. They will use annotation M. Okay, they also have the the male here contains just only one gene as well as to the color blindness. Okay, this gene here. It will occur this way. Uh, this pattern here represented by the mothers. Okay, she is a carrier. Okay, so she is X, M, and X small M, and the father is normal X. M and Y like this but one here the the boys here represent affected me to get disease he is X small M then Y but this case for the female here we don't know so we put X small M and underline because we don't know the second X what is a gene they carry okay maybe X slash M or X small M so we add an underline here is X small M then Y and this one here X small m x here x maybe this one we don't know but this one here they confirm that they are normal they say that they are normal and this one x small m then y okay the square here represent male form and the male the disease form normal okay this is an affected male Circle is normal female. The normal equation here we don't know. Unknown. Female like this. And the half square like this it is a carrier. And this diagram we call pedigree. It's diagram to explain to you about how we send the genetics diseases in one families okay for many generations and the disease here develop because it muscle weakness yeah muscle do not develop so they can have a very small leg okay and the leg become bent together like this it is not straight forward okay and it's occur in the young children like this Okay, this one we already talked okay, in the previous slide. Okay, how we code the name, code, code the gene. But it's supposed to be uh, superscript, it's not subscript like this. Big M, and it is small M. Big one, small one, like this. And the last one, the hemophilia. This case here, when you have breathing, do uh, you have the wound and the wound? You cannot stop the breathing because the lack of some factor.
for controlling the breathing. Okay, the annotation we use the H from hemophilia. Okay, for example, if you have injury or curse, this one here break the blood vessels. And after that, you can have breathing, so the blood will leak out of the wound this way. And after that first step here, the vessel become constrict, the blood vessel become constrict, and start to activate the factor, many factor. We have two conditions, the normal one. The normal one here, they will form the pellet plug. The pellet plug here is a weak linking between the blood cells and some factor here. And after that here, they will make the fibrin mage is a protein to trap the blood cell and many things together and more uh, permanent okay and seal that coat and after they get drying and turn into the uh turn into the scar later but in case of hemophilia the hemophilia here they have less blood clotting factor okay so they cannot form the the pellet plug so the blood will leak for a long time and that lead to the anemia, the condition that you don't have enough blood cells. Okay, so they, they have weak or incomplete fibrin mesh, so it is very easy to get bleeding again. Okay, so the result here, they don't have enough blood to maintain blood pressure, so they get dead. Okay, and all the condition we talk here, the, the gene, the reason that we have the gene that causes the disease here, they come from the mutation. Or we call the Gan Glai Pan Gan Glai or Gan Glai Pan. Okay, this one here is a change in the amounts of the chemicals, structures of the the genetic materials. Okay, and it's occurred in a natural state. Or sometimes they can induce by some 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 things. By chemicals or the rays. Like this. Okay, or sometimes they call somatic mutation. It is the word somatic mean body. Okay, the body. And it's occurred in the somatic cells or body cells. Okay. And they cannot they cannot send from one generation to another. This case it's called somatic mutation. But if if they occur in the sex cells, Okay, even if it's sex chromosome or the, uh, the, the, the other chromosomes, they can send, send that gene drop to the next offspring. Okay, and at the end, it, it can enhance to develop the cancers and the tumors. Okay, and when they have the, the, the tumor cells or the malignant cells, some word, this word here is malignant cell, cancer cells. Okay, they need to collect. Many mutation. Okay, it is it is not means that you need to have one mutation and turn to the cancer. You need to to, uh, to have first mutation. Some cell can develop further to have second mutation, and some cell stop. Okay, and some cell get the third mutation and turn to the fourth mutation, and later the, it can develop into the the cancer cells. Okay, it is not mean that one single mutation and develop into the the cancer cells. Okay, so the mutation in the living organism here occurs sometimes it can be intentionally. You know it. Okay, or sometimes you don't know it unintentionally. You don't know it. And the agent that causes the mutation is called mutagen. In high use the definition of the word as the uh san go gan glai pan. Mutagen san go gan glai pan. It can be the agent or sometimes it is a ray. Okay. Okay, for example, the first one here, the UV ray. This one may be occurred by natural sunlight in the sea around the beach and the uh, coastal area. This one enhances the skin cancers. The X-ray that you in the medical way, central way, or even the airport securities like this, you get a lot of the X-ray here. That it can enhance the, the cancers. And the cigarettes. Okay, contain the smoke, like this, like the tire, like this, tire, or oh, namandin, we call it namandin in Thai. Namandin. This one here enhance the lung cancers. The lung cancers. And may spread to the other part to cause the cancer in the blood vessels. 
or even the nitrate and nitrate piecewise, this one in uh, develop the nitrosamine. For, for example, the grill hot dog or barbecuing like this, the the black part, the dark part of the, the the grill pork like this can enhance the cancers or even um, the drug. This drug to kill the acne. The bacteria that cause the acne we call benzoyl peroxide is uh, the, it is a kind of the they can enhance it, the cancers but the doctor here use in a very low concentration so it's quite safe to use okay so when you use the, the acne here for uh, kill the bac bacteria on your face here you're supposed to consult to the doctors as a skin doctor like this or some infection agent for example HPV the HPV here can enhance the cervical cancer or marine park monlu. But this one here, HPV, it, we, we, we already have the vaccine. It's highly recommend you to take the vaccine. And the helicobacter pylori here can enhance the peptic alcohol or pair in the aahan. Okay. And it later, if you have a lot of the enhancement of the helicobacter pylori here, the peptic alcohol here can develop into the stomach cancers. So we can, the, the mutagen here can be many parts, can be the radiation or chemicals or sometimes it can be the bacteria or the, so, sorry, not, uh, sometimes it's bacteria and the virus. Yes. Okay, and in, during the pregnancy, the gene also causes changing inside the expression of the uh, the body itself or even the children. Okay, we call congenital abnormalities. It is the disease that occurs from uh, since the baby uh, get delivered. Okay, uh, from entire definition of this word as the can pit pocket tong Okay, this one he get affected by the mutation of the gene. Uh, and it's affect to the life of the humans and the organisms. Okay, it can cause infertilities or power uh, man. man. They cannot reproduce the offspring. Or this one, congenital abnormalities. And they can fix by medical treatments. Okay, for example, the cliff flip. Okay, or back when pedan wall. In this case here, the baby cannot suck the milk from the breastfeeding, so it's quite hard for them to, to drink the milk. So it's affect the overall development of the body. And sometimes we call polydactyly. Okay, the situation that we have uh the 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 fingers more than ten, okay, for the hand and ten for the back, for for the feet. They have many. Okay, this one they have extra number. Like this extra number. This one you can take the operation and cut it, make surgery and cut it out. Okay, not much effect to your body. Okay, and the mutation also f also related to the this the the infectious disease. For example, the malaria and the sickle cell anemia. The sickle cell anemia is a situation that the body cells here cannot carry oxygen because the red blood cell here. From this one, they change the shape into the sickle-like structure. Sickle we call keel. Keel. And they cannot carry the oxygen. Okay. Uh, the gene expression here, we have the pattern. The, the severe case, the normal case is uh, maybe large A, large A here, that homozygous dominant. And uh, my case, it is a large A and small A. And the small A, small A represent the severe case. My case. And the normal case. And another one here, the malaria. Malaria here, basically, the, the vector to spread this gene it is the mosquitoes. And the mosquito here spread the gene here by taking the, the gamete into the body and and inject the gene into the bodies of the human and after that the the gene here will turn into many steps and they stay inside the liver okay 
for a period of time and after they get get out of the liver and infect the red blood cells. But the condition of the malaria disease to infect the the red blood cell here, they will infect just only the normal red blood cell. So it's related to the gene of the sickle enemy as a large A, a large A. So if the area here contain many different type of the, the people, okay, contain different type of a gene. Okay, the one that have large A, large A here we get dead because of malaria. And the one that has small A, small A here we get dead because they are sickle cell anemia. But the one that gets survived is large A and small A. Okay, this is the relationship between the mutation of the gene and the infectious disease. Okay, this one the the, the infectious state here occurs just only for the red blood cells, but not for the sickle cell. This one here, they do not infect. Okay, so the my case here, large A, small A here, the one that have large A and small A here, we get survive. Think about this situation made together. This one, what we have in? This one, we have the young with the large A, large A, small A, small A. And this one here may be large A, small A. This one, large A and small A like this. What happened? These two person get survive, and this gene occur and occur and occur. Okay? Well, from one generation from one generation to the next generation and next next generation many generations we have also we also have large a and small a this is relationship between mutation and disease okay and some gene disorders the gene genetic disorder order it is a disorder or the illness that caused by the abnormalities of the chromosomes okay or even the gene we already talked about the gene and it can be sent from one gen generation to next generation okay and we have two forms the first one here we call autosomal disorder and sex chromosomal disorder if it is the autosomal disorder is okay on the uh, autosome but this one if they get errors Sex chromosome or this other, they occur in the sex chromosome. Okay, the first one. Okay, the first one here we call autosomal uh, addition. It means that they add more chromosomes. Okay, this can be called trisomy. Why we use this term trisomy? Tri means three, and so me means chromosome. It means that they have three chromosomes in the body, in, in one cell. Okay, we call trisomy. And for example, the chromosome number 21. For the normal people here, they have the chromosome number 21 as a two chromosome. This one will be normal. And the one that get disease, they have three chromosomes. Number 21. So we can call this one as a trisomy 21. Okay, they get one extra copies from this one we call Down syndrome. So the trisomy 21 here we call Down syndrome. And if you have the deletion case, mean they lost one chromosome or some part part of chromosomes out. So for example, if they have the chromosome number one number here, and the gene get cut here, get cut get lost here, so the chromosome becomes shorter. And they lost the gene. Okay, they lost this gene. Lost the part of chromosome. This one here can cause the disease we call pre do 
Shah. The creature Shah I mean cry like cat. So they cry in a very high pitch sounds when they are young, like this. Okay, the first one now syndrome. This situation, this situation here, they add, this is caused by the addition of the chromosome number 21. Okay, as I mentioned previously. Okay, 21, 21, and 21. And we have trisomy number 21. Uh, the first one, they have hypotonia. This one means they have poor development of muscle tone. The muscle do not develop much, so the body is very soft. Okay, and they have muscle weakness. Okay, the, the head become flat, very flat, and even the nose, the slant eye, the eye become separate on each other. It's very far from here. Oh, another one, slant eye. Okay, and look like this. And the mouth form ears, the ear here is basically they close a lot. They have many too many folding of the of the ears, quite which is not normal. And they have a big a very big tongue, so the the mouth become open. Okay, so they, they need to breathe through the mouth. And they have risk to have congenital heart disease. Okay. Mi this one. And mental retarded, they have low IQ. The lower IQ. And they have abnormal sex cells development. Okay, because when they separate the gene here, the chromosome here become 21 here, one cells in the sperm, or even egg cells. Another one here, when they separate the gene here, sometimes they get two. But the normal person supposed to have just only one chromosome number 21. Okay, but in the case of Down syndrome, they can produce two types of the uh, sperm or egg cells. One, it is contained one, the normal one. The one chromosome number 21 and another one they contain two chromosome number 21 this is abnormal condition this is normal condition okay and this is basic condition here congenital heart disease mm, flat back of head abnormal ears slant eye Okay, maybe like this. And if you take a look into the karyotype, karyotyping, you will see that the chromosome number 21 here will be three chromosomes. So what we call trisomy number 21, like this. And this is the females, XX. So the pattern of the genes here will be female form. Okay, the Greek Duchar syndrome. The Kritushar syndrome here, they get deleted of the part of the chromosome in the short arm. Basically, when you have chromosome here, you can have a short and a long arm. The, the shorter arm we call P arm. And the longer arms we call Q arms. But in case of the Kritushar here, the chromosome number 5 here get lost some parts here to get shortened. So the chromosome here, number 5, become more shortened. And they can lost the gene here. Lost this gene. Okay, the symptom you see here, they have more head, round face here, rosette ear. The ear here basically is supposed to be in this this point, the ear here become get lower. Okay, wide spread eye. Like this. Okay, and low IQ. Okay, then very important here, they can have a very high pitch cry. Like that. Okay, here yeah, they lost the gene. This thing get lost here, with this area. Then this region will get lost here. This is diagram. Okay. And the next one here. Uh, for the sex chromosome here, we'll talk about this next time. Thank you.